Welcome dear Thriver to Thriver TV. Today I want to talk about narcissists at holiday time and why they need to punish you. But before we jump into this, I'd just like to remind you if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do hit the notification bell so you'll find out about every new video I do. Also, if you agree with my material, share it with others so that they know that they can not just survive but thrive after narcissistic abuse. All right, so narcissists, why do they punish you, especially at holiday time? Because the narcissist is in separation consciousness. What does that mean? It's the opposite of unity consciousness. Unity consciousness is we at the base quantum level, at the subatomic level, we're all interconnected and we're one. So my happiness is your happiness, is an expression of unity consciousness. I love seeing you happy and it makes me happy that you're happy because it's my happiness too. Okay, now a narcissist cannot even think like that. A narcissist brain wiring doesn't work like that. In separation consciousness, what it means is somebody has to win and somebody needs to lose. It's not a model of plenty, it's a model of lack. Lack of resources and I have to fight and it's me versus you to try to get some of the good stuff. So the good stuff everybody wants is inner peace and happiness, even a narcissist, even though they have a completely warped way of trying to get it, an inverted way. So that what the narcissist feels and thinks and is intensely triggered by, if other people are happy, then the narcissist is miserable. It, and for them, it's, I haven't got the goodies and you have. And it's all about narcissistic supply. So narcissistic supply is attention. So in a group setting, a narcissist loves it if they're the center of attention in your life. They want to be the center of your universe for good and bad. They don't want you to have energy or attention or life force outside of, of from the narcissist. So it's a very scary time for them, holiday festive time and group gatherings. It's, it's a traumatic time for a narcissist because they know they cannot regulate narcissistic supply. How are they going to weather the storm of not having the focus of attention and seeing other people's happiness? It's very threatening for them. Now, in the early days with a narcissist, such as in a romantic relationship, you're going to be all loved up and you'll be spoiled. And you'll think, oh, I couldn't have had a better holiday than I have with this person. But it is short-lived. This doesn't continue on into the future. And it doesn't matter whether the narcissist is your significant other or whether they're a family member or a friend or whoever you have group settings with. You will see there's always drama and they've got to make it about them. They absolutely do. So what is a narcissist going to do? Well, for starters, even in the preparation time, it begins because you may want this person to help with all the preparations. And a narcissist at the best of times doesn't cooperate, but they're even worse at holiday time because the narcissist will get your instructions wrong. We could argue it's on purpose. I actually believe it is. They're punishing you already in preparations. So they're going to get the instructions wrong or they're going to say things like to you, just because you want it done in your time frame doesn't mean I have to jump to the beat of your drum. So, and you're thinking, what? I just want this done. Like, what's the, what's the drama? But that's what they do. So you're already under pressure. Or the narcissist, you send them off with a list and they go missing in action for hours and don't even come back with it. And it's infuriating. So you're under pressure, you're under stress. And then you may get to the point where you just think, look, I'll just take responsibility and do this myself. It's too much hassle involving you. And then the narcissist will attack you for staging some coup d'etat with friends and family to try and push them out of proceedings. And you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. And the narcissist is intensely paranoid and will accuse you of that. So there you go. It's already happened in preparations. Now on the day, regardless of who the narcissist is, there's a few things that they do. And you know, or you will end up knowing, the walking on broken glass scenario. Well, first of all, a narcissist may want to grandstand. They want 
to be the center of attention and it's the same stories and the same things and the same garbage and waffle and everybody's just like oh god here we go but if the attention comes off the narcissist well then they may really start boiling up inside this is the trigger i'm not superior they're not inferior i'm not the center of attention other people are getting the good stuff they're getting the life force they're getting happiness which means that i'm not i'm suffering in this terrible consciousness lower vibrational consciousness of separation consciousness so the narcissist will do things like start a fight like say things and trigger people they're so good at triangulating anyway and stand back and make it look like everybody else is fighting or the narcissist may be jibbing you on the quiet where nobody can see and then will trigger you so much you explode in public and then they make you out to be the abusive one and get you know people's sympathy and empathy and narcissistic supply by smearing you or maybe they do the silent treatment you know that black dark cloud that a narcissist does it's like an ink that permeates every room in the house you could cut the air with a knife they're masters at it or maybe they're just going to do the disappearing act take themselves off to bed without saying anything only to really get stuck into you later on when you go to bed or maybe they just go MIA you don't even know where they are maybe they don't come home for two days who knows but whatever will get the focus back on them that's exactly what they're up to and if you are the nearest and dearest you're going to get punished a narcissist doesn't care who they take down when they're losing narcissistic supply they really don't care and it's nasty and you may be paranoid about where they've gone missing to and what they're up to and what they're doing because often with a narcissist it's nefarious it's not loyal it's not nice you know their their means justifies their end getting narcissistic supply they don't care about doing the right thing so it's horrible so how are you going to get through this how do you survive a narcissist at holiday time well the great news is not just can you survive this you can actually thrive from this now as i said before it's this separation consciousness where a narcissist is in separation consciousness is a big black pit of yuck and what they want to do is get you into that big black pit as well because when you're triggered when you're hurting when you feel abandoned when you're feeling the unfairness and the injustice you're in this dark vibrational reality with them where they can suck your energy dry and that's what they're trying to do but with some tweaks and some tips you can actually do four steps which are first of all detach they're going to try and hook you in and trigger you detach don't play the next one is is dismiss stop wanting or expecting anything from this person because it's that dependency that hooks you into them the next one is dive inside which is self partner with yourself and step number four the fourth d is detox get that horrible trauma and feelings out just send it off let it go let it go and bring in your light force your higher self your true self now there's some little steps that you can do to work with this this christmas which is these four d's detach and how you do that is you just say to yourself breathe deep come in your body and say you're not my reality okay my reality is my reality okay then dismiss is I have all that I need from all of life I don't need it from you that's another mantra that's dismiss dive in is you breathe and you say to your inner being sweetheart I'm here we've got this I love you we're going to deal with this that's dive in you meet yourself and your self partner and then detox is saying to yourself all of this trauma you're trying to inflict on me in this bad energy i let it go i send it to source i dissolve it back to native nothingness and i claim my life force and truth that's your four d's now that's the simple quick hack to use 
to come back into your power because what happens with that is the narcissist becomes like a spoiled little child like stamping their feet trying to get attention that everyone's just ignoring because when you can hold your energy field you can hold it powerful creator that you are for your children and everybody else and the narcissist will be like that little child banging on the glass going look at me look at me look at me and everybody's just getting on with it and you realize how powerless these people are and how pathetic they are when you can do that and you can have an amazing Christmas regardless of what they are or aren't trying to do. Now, sometimes this can be easier said than done and sometimes we really need some other tips and techniques and some powerful inner shifts to get your energy field out of, out of that dark hole of separation consciousness into a powerful unity consciousness, which is your true self and true source where narcissists can't touch you. Now, coming up on the 3rd of December, I'm doing a four-hour workshop all about this all about taking it in an in-depth process what I've just described to you so that you can not just survive these holidays but you can thrive we're also going to be working through things like aloneness how you can turn this into the most powerful growth opportunity of your life how do you get out of the guilt and obligation at holiday time where you can say no instead of yes when you're feeling a no and where when you get it others get it and how you can detach and stop trying to get along, to get love and approval, but come home to being that generative source for yourself so that you can walk forward in your future into beautiful holiday times with loving, supportive, real, genuine people of integrity. I cannot tell you how much my life has changed from narcissistic ex-holidays into what I experience and I love and I live now. And that's where I want to take you with me. But also too, you know, people that have done my day workshops, they know that you get so much more out of it than is just the topic. Because this is going to help you with boundaries. This is going to help you with self-honor, self-definition and self-value. This is going to bring more of the same from the outside world into your life. So even if you are through the narcissistic holidays, and I know a lot of you aren't, I know a lot of you are struggling about being replaced with new supply and we're going to go through all of that in this workshop. We're going to cover the whole lot. Any heartbreak and it's called Triple H Healing Holiday Heartbreak Workshop. The links with this video and um, any heartbreak, whether the narcissist is in your life gone, whether you've been replaced, whether there was new supply, whatever it is. This is going to help you so much. And for those of you who are through it, you know, but you still want more training on boundaries and self-affirmation and getting out of guilt and obligation and people-pleasing, then this is going to be really powerful for you as well. All right. I've really loved doing today's uh, holiday special for you. I've been wanting to do a workshop like this for years because we get inundated in support with people really struggling with the holiday stuff so this is my uh, early uh, holiday gift to you guys and uh, you know jump into this workshop we have a zoom limited capacity on it so make sure you get your place We've already got hundreds and hundreds of people that are signing up for this. It's by donation only. It's a really tiny amount that you need to pay to come in. And uh, I can't wait to serve you there. All right. So remember your four Ds. Okay. Remember those. And also remember Triple H, Healing Holiday Heartbreak. Because you're not just going to get through this. You're going to soar. You're going to absolutely fly and thrive. All right. I love you all. And we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye. Lots of love.